Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you had a second chance? Are you willing to take a gamble, open your heart, and change your thoughts and perspective for a new chance at life? Welcome to the Wisdom Cafe. I'm your host, Arthur Tassinello, a relationship and leadership coach and mentor. Join me each week for insights into how you can have more love, happiness, peace, and abundance in your life without giving up who you are. Know that you are powerful and you are the governor of your life. So listen, learn, and leap into a better future. Hi, and welcome to Wisdom Cafe Wednesdays. And I hope you're pretty jazzed today and things are going well for you. Now, the reason I do this is because I want you to join me on a journey, a journey of investigation, a journey of understanding who you are and getting to know yourself better. Why do we want to do this? Well, the more you get to know yourself, the deeper you go into finding out who you are, the better your life will turn out because you understand how you operate. Now, we all obviously operate a little differently than someone else. I was talking to a gentleman just a little while ago who was on the Brooklyn Cafe show. And, you know, we talked about our mindset and how and why we do the things that we do. Now, he has a business where he helps people get healthy in lots of different ways. But how do you engage somebody to become healthier or to even to become healthy if they don't understand why they want to do that. Now you could say, well, health, that's so, everybody knows that's important, but a lot of people want the instant fix. And that, which kind of brings me to the impatience of who we are. We, in today's world, with all the social media, we, are dividing our attention between so many things that we want the instant fix. What we want is, unfortunately, to somebody to give us a pill to be healthier, a pill to lose weight, a pill to get smarter, uh, a pill for, for my business to get better. We're promoted these instant fixes through all the commercials on TV that if you take this, you'll be better. If you take that, you'll have a happier life and so forth. But there is something that says that to do these things, to be healthier in mind, body, and spirit, you really need to go deep. You know, my first book, <clears throat> My first book does talk about going on a personal journey of self-discovery and transformation because it's only through these struggles and these experiences that you can discover ways to enrich your life. And it is true. I know that for the past, well, probably four decades for me, it started out just wanting to not have difficult relationships. Uh, not to have arguments, but it doesn't, it doesn't happen just because you say you don't want that to happen. You could, it's easy to, for you to be engaged in an argument because we have these triggers and these buttons that from whatever happened in our childhood or whatever happened in the past, when somebody else does that to us, we kind of flare up, right? It's like, uh, it's, it's like a reaction to a bad drug kind of thing. And so as much as you may not want to, as much as I didn't want to have disagreements or arguments or yelling matches, they still happened when I was younger because I didn't still understand the, my own triggers. And that's why my other book, which is the your key to love and happiness. This is a workbook for you. And a workbook, Freddie and, and Don and I were talking about uh, one of the chapters in here talking about fear. 
And Freddie asked the question, do you, one specific question, do you fear rejection? And my answer was, no, I don't fear rejection, but do I fear other things? Absolutely. Like I would fear trying to bungee jump. But in reality, there are still fears that exist in all of us. How do we overcome some of those things? I mean, fear of success and fear of failure, which are in a way the same thing. Everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to have a great life. Everybody wants to be happy. Uh, they want uh, enough food to eat, sometimes more. We want nice clothes to wear. We want a nice car to drive. Uh, we want a house and maybe a good sized house. Maybe we want two because we want a vacation home. We want all those things. But the fear part of us can get in the way of obtaining or getting those things. Now, I'm not a big pro proponent of having a lot of stuff, a lot of material things. I've had those things and I've kind of gotten to this more Zen part of my life, but that's my journey of letting go of the material stuff because I know that there are so many more things in life that are way more important, like my relationship with my children or when my mom and dad were alive, my relationship with my parents. And, but that, and it goes beyond that, which is how about my relationship with you? How about my relationship with people that are part of my business? How about my relationship with my friends? and my acquaintances. So I'm more invested in understanding me from the aspect of, hey, how do I become a better person and more understanding and more caring and more loving? Like you, uh, I get a lot of emails every day. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna tell you who this is from, but I find it interesting because every day I get an email and some of the things are, that are in the email are very, very interesting because how about this? Nine things successful people never do when setting goals. How about eight ways to know if a man is emotionally unavailable? Or 11 things genuinely nice people do every day and they don't realize it. Or 10 phrases great conversationalists use. What I'm getting at is this need for instant understanding or instant fixes for things. Isn't it nice that, oh man, I can fix my relationship by knowing these nine things or these eight things or these seven things or these 12 things. Unfortunately, life doesn't quite work that way, does it? We have to get to know ourselves and how we operate you'll probably find that the way you operate is very indicative of your relationships. If you look at your more significant relationships, maybe with uh, someone that you're married to or that you're dating in a long-term relationship or with your children or with your parents or other family members, you get along with them in a way that only you can get along with them and maybe you don't get along with them what i'm getting at is who are you who are you behind the scenes who are you deep within we don't always want to go to a therapist but i think we all need some type of therapy we don't want to be with psychologists. We don't always want to reveal ourselves to everybody because we think that maybe we're unlovable and maybe we don't just don't do the right things and maybe that's true. But how do you get through that? How do you figure that out? And do you want to figure it out? It's easy to say, yeah, I want that. And again, go back to these Maybe this eight habits that make you truly dependable or 11 signs you have a playful personality. I mean, if you went through all of these things, it would take you some time, but then, but then you want the instant fix, right? You want to have that relationship with your significant other to magically just be better. 
there is your part that you play in that relationship. And some people will call it a 50-50, but I would say that your part in the relationship is 100%. It's not just 50%. You have to give 100% to that relationship, no matter if it's with your boss or your peers or your subordinates or your friends or your family or your acquaintances or your kids. 10 things that can make a big difference in your life. How's this? And this is true. So I'm gonna read this to you. I like this a lot. One is getting enough sleep. Are you staying up late at night and watching those TV programs that get you all excited and then you don't sleep well? You don't get seven or eight hours of sleep. Some people will tell you that I can get by in four hours, but I guarantee you that's affecting their health. How about uh, getting out into nature? Again, would you rather sit on the couch and watch TV or get out into nature and feel the, the air and breathe that beautiful air and be with animals or be with the trees or hug a tree? <laughs> Maybe you're not a tree hugger. I am. Uh, how about some exercising? Or, and this is a great one, disconnecting from technology. How many people have you found, and this may be you, on their phone, walking down a street, and they walk into somebody, or what could be worse, they walk into the street and get hit by a car. Now, any of these things are possible, but technology seems to, while it can help in many ways, because you have instant access to a lot of information and can help you make better decisions but the whole social media part of watching cat videos and dog videos and stupid videos whatever they are it's a time suck and it takes away from you having real time either with yourself or with your children or with your significant other How about, this is a good one, declutter your space. They say a cluttered space is a cluttered mind. That I might agree with that, but it, it may be true and may not be true for some people. And this one I really, really love is practicing gratitude. So gratitude, what is that? Gratitude is just being thankful for what you have in your life. Now, that's a general statement. And of course, there are people out there with some real hardships, I get that. But if you're watching this and you have a home and you have food on your plate every day and you can go out once in a while and enjoy a show or a dinner out, uh, if you have a, a decent car to drive, you sleep well at night in a nice bed how much more than that do you need? Do you need two houses and three cars or four cars? You may want those things, but you probably don't need them. So look at your life and are you working to the extent that you have no free time for yourself or for you with your family? So we're gonna take a break here for about two minutes and we're gonna regroup ourselves and I'll be right back. Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you had a second chance? Are you willing to take a gamble and change your thoughts and perspective? Welcome to the Wisdom Cafe. I'm your host, Arthur Tassinello, a relationship and leadership coach and mentor. Join me each Wednesday at 3 p.m. to explore what it is to be human and create that second chance. You've been watching the Wisdom Cafe with Arthur Tassinello. For more information, please contact the studio at 888-994-4995 or send an email to arthur at arthur at arthurtassinello.com. And now back to the show. Hi, and welcome back. And I have a wonderful guest here who I, who I love dearly. 
this man is, is a great mentor to me in doing these shows and knows so much about, um, such a, so much about life, really. I lived it. <laughs> I lived a lot of it. So, Freddie, you know, I, I just got on this tangent of understanding who we are. Um, we want to know more about ourselves because that helps us do better. I, I believe it helps us do I better agree. in life. And I know, and I thank you so much because you've really kind of gone through the book and digested it. What, in your words, what stands out the most? And has any of this helped you at all? Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, um, I say to, to you guys this afternoon when we were doing our show, that I always, always open up to a section. And in the section, it opens up always to something that I can relate to. This one now is respect. Mm. And, and what Arthur has done with this material is that he, he poses questions for you to ask yourself. I gotta tell you, you, you can't hide from the truth. <laughs> you, know, right. you, can, you can make fun of a lot of things in life, but you can't hide from the truth. And if you want to be successful, you have to ask yourself some deep founding questions. And I mean, you got to ask yourself all day, how do you get better? Mm -hmm. And this book will open up pathways to yourself. That's what I love about how when this thing, I believe this should be in every school yeah. in America. I believe that too. And maybe with and your help, it'll get there. <laughs> you're the author. I, I think you should get this book, try it out, and then when you finish with it, give it to somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I always stress this. The book is for you. It's not to do with somebody else because I have found that unless you're in your own space, reading the questions and answering them 100% truthfully for you. And no one else is looking over your shoulder and you don't have to make believe that the answer that you're, you're giving yourself is for somebody else. The answer is for you. Because you have to be honest with yourself. That's what I've done for decades now. Going deeper, I've lied to myself in the past about a lot of things. But the more, the deeper I went, the more clear I got about who I am and, and how I show up in life. And more than anything, for me, is I want to show up as a good person. Because I genuinely want to be a good person. And I want everybody to love themselves and love other people. True that. True that. Well said. Yeah. I, I, I use the material a little bit different than Arthur. Um, we have producers that come in from every facet of schools all over the country, all over Florida anyway, some from different states as well. We've had Arizona, we've had New York and everything else. And these kids come in here, um, and when I see them, I see prizes. I see that they can accomplish mm. anything and everything. Mm -hmm. If I had been given the opportunity, I know you to come into some to a scenario where it's to meet people, to learn from people, to talk to people. I would have said to myself, man, what an experience. And my son, Gio, who's now 30, or 29 or 28 around the age, 30 30. <laughs> You don't know how old your I, son is. I don't. I don't. <laughs> that's the number. But <laughs> even he sat down the other day and says, man, I didn't tell you that. Not for nothing. Not because I'm your son. He says, but the producers are lucky because they get to, to work in an environment mm -hmm. that you only read about in school. Right. And then some. Yeah. So some of the things in life that teach us to be better persons, sometimes they go by the wayside because we're so busy doing some other things. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how to take advantage of the things that we have. Mm -hmm. um, I like the fact that I ask them all the time <coughs> questions right out of your book. And That's I put funny. them on the spot. You know, Bill Belichick, the great Bill Belichick, yeah. who is a coach for the New England Patriots, one of the things that Revis said when he went to play for him was that he's never met a coach who stopped him in the hallway to ask him about him. And he used to say to him, Revis, did you hug your kids this morning before you came to practice? 
The first time Rivas told him no. He wow. says, go home. <laughs> he sent him home. Isn't that wonderful? But who does that? Yeah, yeah. It, that is magical and it is true. To engage, to really come from your heart and engage with somebody, care about somebody, because that's what that's all about. It's caring enough about somebody else and their life. People don't understand, even from a selfish viewpoint, if you care about somebody else, they will care about you because it's, it's symbiotic. Is it, what about sincerity? Care well, about them No, you have sincere. to, right, sincerely. Yeah, this is not about a manipulation. I'm not talking, people do manipulation all the time. Manipulation is on TV all the time, right? With the commercials. Every moment of the day. Every, right, everything. Um, uh, Braxton was right. Braxton. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. The gentleman that we were talking to before over here. Um, oh, the gentleman from the insurance company. Yeah, insurance company. Let's see, I'm I'm as bad too. But anyway, we were talking about kind of the same thing: the manipulation of everything on TV. Here's a pill to help you get rid of something, yeah. and then here's all the side effects to that. That's a manipulation. What you don't want to do is be the manipulator in a relationship. You want to come from sincerity that you really want to help. And I say this because understand that you helping somebody doesn't take anything away from you. In fact, it adds to your life. We should all want the best for everybody else and not come from a place of jealousy or envy. Sure that. If you're successful, I think that's wonderful. By knowing you, will that rub off on me? Maybe, but that's not the point of it. Be happy for someone else and their success. Be happy that they're healthy. Be happy that they have good relationships. Their happiness will only add to the happiness of the world. And that's, that's what we need. Yeah. It's funny because uh, Art is coming with us tomorrow to the Leeds show mm -hmm. in Boca. Leeds is a program that has about 400 companies mm -hmm. that are in a room and they learn how to network with one another and how to improve your business. Right. I, I, I buy a table when I can because it's always sold out. Mm. And I got this table um, and I did it to invite you and some of the other hosts that we have because I like to be able to sit at a table mm -hmm. and break bread um, to thank you, to thank you to what you bring to the community. Mm -hmm. And the best way that I understand to do that is by introducing you to a lot of other friends yeah. who feel the same way. And see, that's your heart, though. Your heart yes. to doing that. That's true. And that and that's the that starts to make me emotional because there's nothing more there's nothing more profound, there's nothing more loving than giving your heart to somebody else to to want something else for somebody else. And tomorrow you're going to meet Jody from the radio station who has been. A tremendous aspect in my life. For mm -hmm. 19 years, 20 years, she's been with me in my corner, helping me with the radio, helping me sustain <clears throat> everything you see around here. Yeah. We have the new host um, from the senior show that was on yesterday. Mm -hmm. gonna, the two of them are going to be on there. Um, and we're bringing in Sally. We're bringing in all sorts of hosts yeah. so that they can feel my appreciation for what you guys do for so many for so many, all they have to do is tune in. Yeah, tune in to the good shows, folks. Tune in to something that's gonna teach you something. I mean, I look, I'm as bad as some people. Sometimes at night I sit down and I watch something to veg out on, some movie or something like that. But the reality is, is that most of my day is spent either doing something or educating myself about something. Uh, because for me, that's, again, I, I talk for me, obviously, but for me, that's the important part. More knowledge, more learning helps me make better decisions, helps me be connected to more people. It's not like my life is perfect, folks. It's not, but it's pretty damn good because I want it to be better. And you're yeah. taking time to share that. Yeah. You're taking time. And what Arthur also has another gift for Mr. Arthur here is that he has his own Roku Amazon Fire channel. It just was approved. You're also on the iHeart podcast oh. channel. Uh, you're also on Spotify. You're also going to be on yeah. Apple. There's about nine different podcast things that we're going to do. And we're doing this to enhance your message. And what people don't know is that you're going to be on uh, Roku Live. 
as opposed to tape. So Nobody folks, here, here it is again. Look, look at what he's doing. I, I had no expectation of this. Oh, we're I didn't doing sign it, up for this. We're doing but here's the blessing to me. And hopefully, again, my word getting out there is a blessing to you as well. I thank you so much. Not a problem. Thank you. Come on down and meet Arthur. Come to the studio. You know, take a look. If you don't want to buy, if you don't believe me, take a look. I guarantee you one thing, it's going to change your life for the better. All you need is five seconds to look at this and what it asks you. I'm a firm believer, and I've been doing this business close to 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the bottom line here is that I think it's a key for your kids. I think it should be bought and given to your kids, especially if they're entering school and college. I wish I had the material when I was going to NYU, because mm -hmm. when I was a freshman, I was lost. Lost, I tell you. This will help them find their way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank I really, you. I really appreciate that. Doing the work, it, it, it's a lifetime. Okay. You can pick this up and you can answer the questions and get to know yourself. But this is, you're investing in yourself for your life. Not just for a minute, not just for a day, not just for one relationship. You're investing in it forever to make your life better. True that. And... And I'm happy that I, I'm, I'm blessed that I say God gave me the words for the first book and then the second book and then brought me Maureen Ake who helped me with this book, who is a therapist. Uh, she was a blessed. Everybody that's, this book was produced by lots of people actually because of the people I met and, and, the, and the words from, I say from God. For me, it's God. Now, if you end it here, Three minutes to what, 30? Three minutes and we're, we're out? Okay. 27. I want to put it on the radio. If you say goodbye now, yeah. I'll put it on the radio. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it works in the real world, baby. Hey, okay, so next week, I'm pretty sure that my sister is going to be on the show. She's also a coach. She's a numerologist. She's a wonderful person. I love her dearly. I hope she's here. We're going to talk about... Mother's, because Mother's Day is coming up. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and please, like us, share it, do something. Uh, we, we, I would appreciate it, the show. Freddie and Don appreciate goodbye. it. Okay, goodbye. Get the book. We'll talk to you next week. <laughs> you have been watching the Wisdom Cafe. Put Join me each Wednesday at 3 p.m. to explore what it is to be human and create that second chance. I examine ways about how you can have more peace, love, and happiness in your life. Until next week, remember this. When you change what you do and the way you look at things, the things you look at.